big, big boss. <laughs> One of the best things about Hanoi is it has a lake in the center of downtown which really gives it a focal point. Good morning from Hanoi, Vietnam's capital and cultural hub. And we're going to take you and show you some of the finest things this city has to offer. And give our first impressions at the same time. That's right. So we're about a 20 minute walk west of the tourist area and we're heading to one of the most magnificent sites this city has. Let's do it. Let's go. So we're visiting some of the ancient relics of the Vietnamese dynasties today. And we'll show you how incredible the history of this country is. We're here at the Temple of Literature and one of our viewers said this is the premier thing to see here in Hanoi. We couldn't agree more already. 30,000 dong just to get in, very cheap. We're going to go and have a look now. The temple here is known as the Temple of Literature. It was dedicated to Confucius and this is the site of Vietnam's first university. The temple built in 1070 but the university opened the Imperial Academy in 1076. So perhaps one of the world's oldest universities here in Hanoi, Vietnam. This first courtyard is known as Entrance to the Way and it's believed that the first lesson students need to learn is to behave respectfully. Knowledge will come later. And this here is the second courtyard, often known as the Courtyard of Great Success. And one of the gates is on the 100,000 dong note. Look familiar, everyone? We use these all the time. <laughs> we do, there it is. And this is the courtyard of the sages. And although this was the uh, birthplace of Vietnam's first university, once the Nguyen dynasty took control, the university, the Imperial College, was moved to Huai, where a new capital was founded. Well, impressions after after looking at the uh, Temple of Literature, Steph. Yeah, well, it just seems a lot more historical than Saigon. Definitely. Um, and, and also, you can really feel the Chinese influence here. Yeah. That was a Confucian temple. So here we are at the Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum, guys. Obviously a premier site here in Hanoi. Sadly, Steph's not with me. Um, we we're carrying a small day pack and in the day pack was my drone and they wouldn't let us bring it in even though of course we weren't going to attempt to fly it here they're not taking any chances so she's waiting outside while I, while I come in and take a few shots and have a look and then I'll go out and wait with the bag while she comes in I've been here before um, what, back in 1998 I was here. I didn't go inside then. The queues were too long. And I think you can't go inside today because Monday there's no viewings of the embalmed body. So guys, yes, it's great to be back here again after all these years. Take a look, fantastic. Weather's not too good and it's quite dusty today, but nonetheless, Enjoying the vibes here at President Ho's resting place.
And one thing to remember, if you are coming here, no shorts, no um, halter tops, nothing like that. I've seen quite a few people turned away for not being dressed um, respectfully. The old railway bridge here in Hanoi, quite an icon these days with a cafe on three floors giving fantastic views. This is Trang Quoc Pagoda, the oldest Buddhist temple in Hanoi. It's situated on West Lake and was built in the year 544. It's notable because of the monks' ashes contained in the Hall of the Dead. It doesn't matter where I visit a Buddhist temple, it's always tranquil. You can hear birds chirping, even though there's a busy highway right there. There's also great food like this here in Hanoi. So, a little backstory about this place. This place is called Joma Bakery. And the first time we ever had Joma was back in about 2003 in Laos. The first branches opened there. They've since spread to Vietnam, I'm not sure about Cambodia. Cambodia, one in Cambodia. In Cambodia and also in Laos. So uh, this is our first time back having some Joma for a long time. We did uh, try it in 2019 in, here in Hanoi. And what's our favorite dish? <laughs> it is the taco salad. So this is the exact same dish that we used to get in Laos, uh, what, 20 years ago. <laughs> it is, it doesn't quite look it the same. It doesn't look though. the same, but still. Yep, it's the same. <laughs> so Steph, I got a question for you. Was Joma as good as you remember? Yes, it met my expectations. <laughs> it tasted so delicious. And I don't know, the, the chips are a little bit different, but that sauce they use on it is exactly the same as it was 20 years ago in Lao. Ah, oh, oh, it makes my heart warm to remember it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was certainly appreciated back then, wasn't it? It was yeah. really hard to get salad in the day back in uh, Laos. Yeah, and just, you know, you couldn't really get a Western fix anywhere except for Joma. So if you wanted something that wasn't like Lao food, Joma was the place to come. That and the Scandinavian bakery. <laughs> That's right. They were the two institutions back then, weren't they? They 20 were. years ago in Laos. Yep. And here we are today at Joma. some classic Hanoi spring rolls and of course we got some french fries don't judge us there we go and a beer. Also got a beer and a cheers. beer cheers okay so that's it for our first impressions vlog here in Hanoi we've had a great time it is quite different than Ho Chi Minh but there is a lot to see so make sure you give yourself time and you enjoy some of the coffee houses and the cafes here in downtown Hanoi. At first impressions of the people, they seem a little bit more reserved, a little bit shyer than in Saigon, but they do open up. And if you head down to the lakefront of an evening, you get to see more of their fun side. That's right. Uh, everyone's quite jovial down there in the evening. So we hope you've liked this one. Please like and subscribe. It means a lot to us and we'll catch you in the next one where Girls on the Loose. We are. Bye bye for now. See you next time.